This is a new Blackmagic Pixis 6K box camera. You're watching Synity, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, this is Synity from NAB 2024, again from the Blackmagic design booth, and Craig, again, how are you? I'm still good, Nina. Yeah. Still good, this is the third video. Uh, we're talking about the Pixis 6K, one of the many cameras you introduced uh, this year. So this is a completely new um, camera design. What can you tell me about it? It is, yeah. So a completely new platform for us where we've had the pocket cameras previously as our smallest uh, digital cinema products. And the Ursa probably uh, the product as our, our main workhorse products, if you will. But Pixis introduces, I think, something that a lot of people have been asking for um, and certainly asking for since we did the Cinema 6K in uh, the end of last year was a product that is more of a box camera. So something that could allow a lot more mounting capability, kept the compact form factor down so you could put it into drones and gimbals, run and, and, and shoot with this with a little bit more uh, stability. And I guess, you know, we listen and we built a camera that we know people really want to get their hands on. Very nice. So we're talking about same sensor as the 6K Pro, right? Um, same as the Cinema 6K, Cinema. yeah, that we, we announced there. So that's a, it's a full frame um, 6K sensor that can shoot open gate three to two. Um, there's a, you'll see on the full tech specs, uh, it matches the performance of that previous camera. So we've taken that sensor and embedded it into a new camera body. So there's anamorphic support in there. We've got full height 4K, so we can support anamorphic, but there's also some DCI, there's some down conversions in there as well for HD. So it's a multi-purpose camera and a ton of capability across that sensor, but principally the quality we get from an open K 6K is, is stunning on the, the sensor itself. Very nice. It also supports the new viewfinder. I see the USB-C viewfinder port here, right? Yes, it does. So the Ursa Cine EVF that we've announced with the Ursa Cine 12K camera is adaptable to the Pixis. Um, doesn't come with the camera. So when you buy the camera, it's body only. But you could choose to buy the EVF. Um, it's $16.95 US. Um, and then you'll get the, the mounting kit as well for that. So you can put this onto there and use that really high quality OLED EVF with, with the Pixis as well. Um, L-mount again, right? This is an L-mount camera? So you've got three options. Yeah. Um, you've got an L-mount, you'll have a lockable EF, and you'll have a PL-mount. But it's interchangeable? It's not, no. So the camera will be locked to the, the mount that you choose. So choose carefully. There's three options um, in the product range. Uh, the PL mount is a little bit more expensive than the other two, but it isn't interchangeable. So if you're going to want to use alternative lenses, you're going to have to use external adaption on the lens mount. Well, you could adapt a PL adapter on L-mount, right? And an EF adapter as well. Yeah. So that's probably the most versatile option. I think so. And probably keep the options open. And also with, with L-mount, you get into that larger 35mm uh, um, shallow frame as well. So the performance and the capability of those. We saw it with the original Cinema uh, 6K camera that we released. So the L-mount was the principal choice for that, for that camera. And I think probably the primary choice for this one as well. There's no ND in this camera, right? No. Um, partly to do with the housing. Um, to keep the camera small. For us to put in one of the rotary or the ND mechanisms that we have on other systems would start to compromise the design. We wanted to keep it low form and compact as possible. And again, I think the trade-off is that you're using external NDs, whether they're gonna be uh, maybe matte box based, if you're using a rail and a matte box on certain lenses, or if you just wanted a, a lens mounted uh, adaptive ND. The choice is your own as the operator, but we, we made that decision not to put NDs in this camera, um, really down to the design principles we wanted to achieve. Uh, recording media is CF Express? Two CF, ex uh, uh, two CF Express slots, yes, on, on there. Um, and connectivity, SDI. Yeah, yeah so you've got um, two, let's see the back of it, you've got your two SDI connections, mm -hmm. um, which are 12 gig SDI for 4K. Um, you've also then got an ethernet port. So similar to the Ursa Cine 12K we've announced and new to the cameras and the digital setup is we have ethernet capability from it. Um, again, connectivity into Blackmagic Cloud. So we've got collaborative workflows that start in camera and the capability to use things like REST API to check into the camera for the media access as well. Very nice. I mean, all the interiors other than that, I guess, are similar to the Cine 12, no, Cine 6K Pocket. Cine Sorry, I'm getting confused with the name. I know, yeah. A cinema Camera 6K, yeah. Um, similar. Um, yeah. 
similar enough, but also redesigned because we've had to obviously we've changed the way that there's a menu, uh, sorry, a monitor system on one side, and some of the actual thermal and uh, sensor systems are are unique to this camera and designed for it as well. Okay, anything else you want to mention? Um, I think on the other side of the camera, on the, the operator side here, um, we have an interchangeable cheese plate option. So the camera will come with this blank plate that you've got some mounting for it, but also you can get a, a cheese plate um, option, it's about $50, so you have much more mounting capability. Um, we expect we'll probably do some alternatives, maybe some rosette mounts, but I think also as well it's an open plate so if you want to build your own or if there's maybe there's be some th third parties out there they've got a particular use um, you could build that on there and then also you've got a USB-C port on here so if you wanted to tether the camera to a mobile system or if you've got an external USB-C recording you could just use this basic um, mount with Velcro to then mount the USB-C recording on there because it, it would be a little bit clumsy just hanging it off the, the side of the camera instead. Okay cool so pricing availability so pricing is 2995 for the EF or for the L mount option. If you want the PL option, that's a little bit more expensive at 3195. Um, I mentioned the uh, cheese plate, that's $59 as well if you want to add that onto those. And we'll be shipping the product out in June. Awesome. Thank you, Craig. Thanks for your patience with all the videos we've been doing. And thanks everybody for watching. Check Cinedy.com and our YouTube channel for all the other videos we've been doing here at the Blackmagic Design booth about the Ursa Cine 12K, 17K, the Viewfinder, DaVinci Resolve, I don't know what else, a lot of stuff. And it's either on there already or will be coming soon. And of course, a lot more videos from NAB 2024 in general. Thanks for watching.